3D graphics, and it's called metal. <laughs> so, <laughs> as you know, OpenGL is the standards-based way for high-performance 3D graphics on iOS, giving you access to the power of the A7 processor. But increasingly, if you look at what goes on in the performance of the game, in addition to what the game wants to accomplish, OpenGL ends up being a thick layer of overhead between the game and the hardware. Well, now we have metal, and metal dramatically reduces that overhead, giving the game near bare to the metal access to the power of A7. The results are stunning, up to 10x faster draw call rates. Now, in addition to these dramatically reduced uh, overheads, you get access not just to graphics, but to the compute power of the GPU. And Metal supports pre-compiled shaders and efficient multi-threading, so you can always get the most out of the processor. Now, we've been working with the leading providers of gaming engines on mobile platforms. And what they've been able to accomplish with Metal in just a few weeks is truly stunning. Let's start with EA and the work they've done taking their console-level title, Plants vs. Zombies, and bringing it to iOS. They're able to put over 1.3 million triangles on the screen at a time and do depth of motion effects, depth of field effects that they could never imagine achieving. In fact, they're using their Frostbite console engine that they thought could never come to mobile, and now it can. And let's look at Crytek. Crytek was able to bring their console-level Geom cache to iOS, and they're able to get up to 4,000 draw calls per frame going here. This is up to 10x the kind of performance they were seeing previously. Now, to show you live what can be done with metal, I'd like to bring up the founder of Epic Games to the stage, Tim Sweeney. Tim, come on up. Thank you. We've had the opportunity to work with Metal, and to illustrate some of the possibilities, we created a Zen garden. Now, this environment was built in Unreal Engine 4 on a high-end Mac, and now, thanks to Metal, we're running it on iPad in real time with full fidelity and performance. Metal's efficiency enables an order of magnitude increase in detail, making it possible for developers like us to create a new generation of vivid and interactive 3D experiences. Now, Josh Adams is the programmer who wrote much of the code that's running. Josh, can you explain what we're seeing here? Yeah, sure. First of all, thanks to Metal's support for pre-compiled shaders, we can have a huge variety of materials without a low-time impact. And uh, first up, let's check out this cherry tree. Now I can drag on the screen to paint the petals onto the tree, and they start falling to the ground. There are about 5,000 petals here being physically simulated, and I can interact with them by touching on the screen to blow wind through the area. All right, next up, we have a koi pond filled with hundreds of fish. Metal's freed up enough CPU time that we can have each of them running their own artificial intelligence, which you can see here as I drag around on the water. And there was a few more fish here than a real koi pond, but since metal lets us do it, we figured why not. And of course, every Zen garden needs some sand to rake. So I can go over here. I can rake any pattern I want into the sand here. Now, artists love that you can make an effect like this without needing a programmer like me to make a one-off effect for draw call reduction or other optimizations. And for our final moment of Zen, we'll walk over to this water fountain. Now I can tap on it, pour out some water, which then turns to a couple hundred butterflies. But of course not going to stop there, so I can touch the screen to call more of them to me and then guide them around the area. So there are about 3,500 individually animated and rendered butterfly meshes here. I have to keep telling the artists to turn the numbers up and up because they did not think it was going to be possible. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks. There are thousands of objects being rendered here in a scene that we couldn't have dreamed of building prior to Metal delivering a tenfold increase in rendering efficiency. 
to have this level of graphics capability on iPhone and iPad now is a stunning breakthrough. Um, we're proud to have been a part of it, and uh, of course, we'd love to share this with you. So as soon as iOS 8 is available, we will be making the Zen Garden available in the App Store for free. Thank you. It's amazing, and that was, it's easy to forget, on an iPad. It's incredible graphics they were able to achieve, and I think we're all feeling very zen now, so it's very good. So that's metal. Now I want to move from high-end 3D gaming to casual gaming and Sprite Kid. We introduced Sprite Kid.